Hey everybody, Chris here again at U-Joint. I've been trying to get this video done for a few days now, but it, life gets in the way. Um, if you follow us on social media, you'll see we've been working on this thing a lot. This is V4 2.0. My last video was what I called a mid-build. This is, I'd say, probably about, I don't know, 90%. It's mostly done. I'm trying to prep it for a big road trip in a few weeks. Headed out of town, and we're gonna take this. So it's been a, a bit of a rush to get it finished and uh, get it roadworthy and get it tested and all that fun stuff. So I wanna start by thanking the entire U-Joint crew inside the shop, outside the shop, everybody that's been uh, busting tail to get this thing ready. It's, uh, it's a true masterpiece and uh, I couldn't be more proud of it. So I wanna give a special thanks to, uh, to my whole U-Joint crew. Um, if you haven't watched the intro video where I compared this one to V4 and why I'm doing it, and then also the mid-build, uh, maybe check that out but uh here we are as of today and i've been driving it i drove it all weekend uh just daily driving around town uh did even a little bit of towing light towing with it just give it a good shakedown so we can uh, make our final punch list before the big road trip so things that have changed obviously it's been to the body shop sent it out to uh, dark city customs and swan i they did an amazing job on the cab back um, these cab backs are not easy to blend like this and uh, they took their time and um, did it right. And I'm happy with that, even though I tried to rush them. They didn't, and uh, they did it perfectly. So that's done. This is a 12 inch cab back from cabbacks.com. It's the same size that was on V4 uh, because I didn't want to change the wheelbase or the bed um, on this rig. So it's the same, basically the same size cab as before. Um, we've got the wheels and tires on it. I went over the axles and most of the suspension last time So I'm not going to get into details about that right now if you want to see that look at the last video uh, Wheels and tires are on it. These are the same Yokohama uh, Geolander XAT 37s that I had on V4 to 37 13 50 17 on some innovate racing wheels If you don't if you haven't checked out innovate racing check them out. They're a small shop in California. It's forged um, And machined here in the US. I think they're the nicest wheels you can get right now uh, suspension wise everything's good I'm just emailed King I'm gonna do some spring swaps um, one thing I noticed over the weekend it is the front springs are a little soft we swapped the springs front and rear from the old setup with the old 73 uh, diesel we had the heavier springs in the front and the lighter ones in the back we swapped those but I still think I need a heavier spring up front <clears throat> with this 73 gasser speaking of the 73 gasser the 73 Godzilla motor I'm totally in love with it um, it was a beast before we tuned it now it's even better. Five Star Tuning hooked us up with a um, about a hundred horse tune, which is amazing and crazy to think of that a naturally aspirated engine can get a hundred horse out of a tune. But it's there, and this thing is uh, it romps. Up front, we've got our fact or our factory, excuse me, stock uh, FB002 front bumper that we build here at our shop in North Carolina. It's all aluminum, weighs 65 pounds, uh, bare. Got a worn VR12S winch in there, some Baja Design LP9s up top, and a trio of Baja Design lights down here. You can see our U-Joint Off-Road Agency 6 Fairlead with a Factor 55 thimble. Went ahead and put a front hitch on it. Uh, we basically just loaded up with all of our options for the front bumper. Inside, uh, last on the last rig I made all the interior panels, and which was a pain. This time I just sent it to the upholstery shop and said, cover the walls. So they did. Turned out great. Uh, put a layer of Dynamat down on the floor, then they insulated it also. You can see my shifters right there. Um, S-Pod is in. Switches are all there. Got that filled up. I've got my iPad mounted, just going right to the Ford factory stereo right now. I'm definitely not happy with this stereo. I want to swap it out. I just haven't had time to mess with it. I don't know why Ford went from a double DIN back to a single DIN on these things. Who knows? But... It's just, uh, it's just not a good stereo. It needs more power. So I'm probably going to replace it with some kind of head unit. Um, this is a switch. It's kind of neat. I did this switch. It's actually the ground for the rear LED light bar that I'm about to show you. Um, because when I have the soft top on it, I don't want the light to work. So that's it. I went over some of the interior changes for the 2021 model year in the previous video. But it's pretty simple. Different headlight switch, different steering wheel different texture on the uh, on the dash plastic and then the single din stereo. They moved some of the plugs around for the traction control and the battery chargers and stuff too, which is cool. Moving to the back, 
Um, obviously, it's the same bed. Well, there you can see the, the Baja Designs rear LED light bar lit up. So the center is uh, comes on with the reverse lights. Uh, we made a new headache rack. The last one, it, was, it had a few little things I didn't like about it. This is basically the same design, but we just started over. We moved this panel back a little bit to make the soft top clearance better. And we added some aluminum to the back of the U-joint lettering to make it stand out a little more. Got a spare tire mounted. Got the same 90 watt ZAMP solar panel that charges the house battery uh, that's in the bed. Oh, just walked into something, sorry. Um, so yeah, other than that, the bed is the same. Um, things on my list to still do is a uh, fuel tank skid. So we have to build a fuel tank skid for this thing and get some sliders on it. That'll also act as steps. This thing is big. It's about, a, it's equivalent to an eight inch lift. Uh, same tail lights as before. I thought about changing them out, but we uh, rewired them. We got them working better. So I'm happy with those. Those are original to the flatbed uh, made by Rigid back in the day. Here's the other side of the headache rack. Got a nice little storage spot there with some Molly uh, cutouts and uh, a little tribute to a good friend of ours that we lost back in 2019. We were gonna build a similar rig for him, our friend Chad, um, but he uh, unfortunately passed on and part of this build is a tribute to him. So I think I covered everything that's happened in this stage of uh, the exhaust. I didn't show the final exhaust. We wound up adding just a small JBA muffler and then uh, we made a custom exhaust tip. I stole that idea from uh, Kibby Design out in California. He does it much nicer than us, but for our first attempt, I thought it was pretty cool. Kind of looks like an angry worm or fish mouth. I'm not sure what they call it, but I saw it and it looked cool and we decided to copy it. And that's why I'm giving him some credit for our poor attempt at copying his stuff. That's all I can think of right now in love with this thing. It looks really good on the 37s. Hard to tell with the wheels uh, turned, but this front axle is five inches wider than the stock, or than the uh, 99 to 04 axles we used in the past and still use with our leaf kit. Gonna add the soft top and the new rack soon. Be looking for that on, um, on the social media stuff. Other than that, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. And thanks for following along with this build. You join offroad.com questions in the comments or shoot me an email chris at you join offroad.com and uh, thanks for watching have a great day